Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create unique and professional looking icons using Recraft AI and this process is quite easy. And by the way, be sure to watch until the end because there are some best practices and unique tips and tricks that you could apply when creating icons using this AI tool. Alright, the first thing that you need to do is that you have to navigate to Recraft.ai and then you can sign in using your account. If you don't have any Recraft account, you can sign up for free using the link in the video description which will get, give you 200 extra credit which i think is going to be quite uh, generous to generate a lot of images on this platform now let's click create new project and wait until the editor is open now after the editor is open you can click this image button and after that you can start creating an icon for this demonstration i will try to generate a hamburger icon i think that's quite simple now before you can do that make sure that you have to you, you, you change the model into something that is more appropriate right now i'm using recraft version 3 which is the default model you can click on it and you can replace it with something else on the discover menu and then here at that section you can search for icon hit enter and click apply on this icon mode now the model that we are using is called icon and here you can start describing the icon that you want to generate which is the hamburger icon and you can also adjust the negative prompting if you want to and also you can choose the color so in this case i'm using the free version so i cannot select the color manually but i do have access to randomly generate color palette which is not perfect but it is better than nothing so i'm going to click on this option and i'm going to pick the color that i want let's try this one because this one looks quite colorful and after that you can adjust the aspect ratio but personally i think one to one for icon is perfect you don't have to change anything here and the number of images per generation you can set it to i think eight images but since i'm using the free version i cannot do it so i'm okay with the default setting now you can click this button the recur button and just wait for the ai tool to generate the hamburger icon so this process will take usually less than 20 seconds and it will generate two different icons and later you can choose which one that you think look the best maybe this one doesn't look great this looks like the hamburger that was in the Spons uh, spongebob movie uh, i think that the kind of hamburger that was used to hospitalize the the health inspector it doesn't look great okay maybe that's because of the color let's try a different color let me see what color that looks more appropriate for hamburger uh maybe this one i don't know but let's give it a try so yeah sometimes that can happen but you can always click on the image and then click the recur button to recreate a new version or the picture or the icon okay this is a bit better although not perfect but still pretty good compared to the previous one and after that you can select the picture that you want and then you can right click click export as click png jpeg svg or lottie depending on the format that you are uh, the most pre preferred so that's just one way to create an icon one feature that i highly recommend to use on recraft ai is called image set so it is actually the feature that i just shown you earlier in this video where you can generate a bunch of images with just a single click and it's going to be a lot uh, easier to recreate all the images if you're not happy with the generation so let me show you how you can do it uh, you can click on this image button image set button and you can uh, you know just type the prompt right here oh by the way i forgot to mention that you have to select the model first uh, click on this white area basically and then click the model and let's search for icon all right now i can start adding the prompt so for this one let's try using maybe um let's say iphone this one is going to be let's say ipad and then this is ipod and this one is going to be macbook uh, iMac okay I'm trying to remember what are other products from Apple maybe Apple watch there you go so I have all these prompts that I could just generate with just a single click now I'm going to select the color first let me see if there's any color that looks appropriate for these icons uh, usually maybe black and white some sort of monochrome color okay this one looks great now let's click recraft and just wait for recraft to generate all the pictures now later there is another thing that i want to show you that would be very useful if you want to generate a more personalized and customized icons using recraft ai and that's going to be really really cool but 
uh, I'm going to show you the result first. So this is the result. There is this iPhone. Doesn't look like iPhone, but that's okay. This is iPad. Pretty cool. iPod, MacBook, iMac, and Apple Watch. So uh, they do look really great. And later you can, you know, download all of them into... Usually when you can download all of them at once if you want to. But you can also just download uh, every single icon individually. And by the way, if you want to change something, but you don't want to change the entire the entirety of this image set you can just drag and drop one icon outside of the area and now you have another copy that is independent from the rest of the image set so that's uh one thing that you need to know another thing is this so if you go to google and then search for let's say icon styles you'll see plenty of different icon styles like there is the hand drawn doodle 3d line icons flat icons gradient uh, isometric etc there are a lot of different icon styles that you could learn now i'm not trying to copy or i'm not trying to download their pictures and then put it into recraft ai to generate my own version of that icon instead we can actually just give a prompt to recraft to generate a different style of the icon so let me delete this and uh, let me try using this hamburger as a demonstration again so uh, right now this looks great that's amazing but let's try let's try a different icon style let's try the hand drawn icon style hand drawn style and send the message or click the recraft button and just wait and you will see that this icon will be very different this one looks uh, nice and clean but since i added hand drawn style you'll see that icon is going to be much more hand drawn basically because that's the instruction that i just gave to ai so this is the result you can see that it's not perfect but that that's exactly the point and you can also use something like maybe line icons or color icon or isometric let's try isometric i'm kind of curious because isometric could be considered to be 3d which is usually not something that this mode can do but let's give it a try isometric style and just wait again you can navigate to images and see all the styles that that you can imitate on Recraft AI. There is this solid color, there is also outline color, there is a lot of different styles. I don't know the name, but you can learn about it on Google. Okay, that's uh, quite interesting. Yeah, it's a bit blocky because Asymmetric is usually good for a cube design, but yeah, at least we get something that looks kind of 3D. Hamburger 3D, I guess. So uh, that's basically how you can create icons using Recraft AI. So if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.